Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cal Easy here. And um, so today this is the first episode of subs FIFA Subscribers Team or something. I'll come up with a catchy name when I can be bothered. But um, yeah, so basically this little series is I'm going to pick um, a subscriber who follows me on Twitter or whatever. I'll, I tweet out a general question about my videos. This one was like, uh, what do I not like about hamburgers or what am I picky about hamburgers? And it was the bread to meat ratio. And uh, he, he uh, this guy Ross Spastic is his name, and this is his team that you're, you guys are all looking at right now. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, I'm, I look at the team, I review, I can say what you could be doing better, what would uh, make the whole shenanigans a bit better, and you guys are just uh, here to maybe pick up on some tips that I'm giving uh, Ross Spastic this. So uh, yeah, this is his team. Up front, you have Cavani. He's an 86. He's in form. Now Cavani isn't a five-star skill player, and uh, I find, but this is mainly me, guys. So um, it's up to you. It's all about personal opinion. But I like to have a five-star skill player up front, just because if you're playing right up front in this 4-4-1-1 uh, formation, you really want someone who can do well in the dribbling uh, like situations. I think he's got good dribbling, but I'm not sure. I, well, I know he doesn't have five-star skill unless yeah, he's been updated and does, but um. Yeah, so I'd really, I'd probably actually sell him and maybe get up front Lavezzi, um, Lavezzi or whatever you want to call him. He's an 85. Um, he's just an awesome player. So uh, that's one tip I'd give him. Uh, as far as the whole uh, chemistry goes, he's 93 and he's actually really lucky to have 93 chemistry. Um, you can see he's got formation cards on every single one. Um, he doesn't have the correct one on Pato, but uh, maybe if he did, it might go up by one or two. But uh, not too big a deal. Same with uh, Di Maria. Now, um, I want to say this formation is probably not your best bet. It's an awful shallow one. It's very defensive. Maybe that's the way you like to play. I'm not too sure. But um, I would definitely go for a little something else. Maybe like a 4-3-3. Um, but then you'd have to change up everything. But I'll just assume you enjoy this formation and whatever. But um, yeah, uh, chemistry also... What I'm finding is you've got a whole mix of players or people or whatever you haven't really stuck to an all Brazilian, all La Liga, all um, uh, Italian, all Argentinian or whatever, you know. You've kind of really changed it up a bit, which is fine. But um, and I, yeah, it's very impressive that you got 93 with some Brazilians. You, you can see he's got a lot of Brazilians on the right-hand side, um, a couple of Brazilians on the left and Argentinians, which have kind of mixed it up. Um, I mean, so I highly recommend you stick to one and you just focus on that. Like, you'll see a lot of my teams, I have a Serie A team, Serie A team, whatever. I'll have a Portuguese team. I'll have a Liga BBVA team or La Liga team. Um, you know, st things like that. Um, uh, that that's, all, uh, that's all quite important, just to make sure you get that 100 chemistry. But he's done really well here to still maintain a 93 chemistry with uh, this sort of jumble of players. So uh, let's get back to the players. Centre forward, you have Melito. Um, he, he's a great player. I feel as though he's probably not the best center forward though I'm not too sure who you would have in spot, but I think by the looks of it Melito's a pretty solid guy to have there and uh, Yeah, I wouldn't really change too much now uh, left mid um, You have uh, Di Maria now Di Maria is there's an updated version of him Which is an 84 and I highly recommend you swap him out for the 84 because the 84 is amazing yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure, don't count me on it, it's close to this, but he's got 88 pace and 88 dribbling. And that's exactly what you want in a left mid. Um, he's also got 5 star, and I'm not too sure whether he has flair. I'm pretty sure he does, but um, yeah. So then moving on to the middle, we have Hernanes, or Hernan, uh, yeah, I think it's Hernanes. He's in form. This guy's awesome in form, really. He's probably one of your best players on the field. He's, he's quite slow, he's 79 pace. Um... He's quite slow, and uh, but he's he's really really good. He's a he's a really good player. He's got really good dribbling as well, and uh, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, but he'll set you back quite a bit. Um, also, 84 Di Maria will put you back about twenty thousand at the moment from when I'm doing this commentary. Then across we have Giovanni. Giovanni's amazing silver player. It's a bit random how you have him just uh, in amongst these gold players, but I can understand why with his five star skills and his flair. Uh, trait so uh, nothing really too much. He's an extremely expensive player though Especially since you're not making a silver team, so I don't know maybe I'd swap him out for someone else But uh, but the looks like things are going good for you with uh, Giovanni there He costs about 70k at the moment moving along right. We have Pato um, Pato he's awesome. He's got five stars probably one of my favorite players on this game 
Uh, he's a he's a five star skill player, flair trait, and he's really really good on the ball. Uh, he's got the shots. He's he's pretty pretty much everything about him is awesome. There's also an 85 inform version. He'll set you back about 300,000, and that is a lot of money for a, for an 85 uh, right mid. But if you if you ever have that sort of money, I definitely recommend you invest um you invest it in him because he is a quality player. Now uh, I'm not so good with the defense, so I'll probably end up going through this pretty quickly. But a left back, you have. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me just move it so it doesn't go dark. Um, we have your left uh, left back is Marcelo or something. If I were you, to be honest, I'd get rid of him and get Felipe in there. He's also a Brazilian player. I don't know what team he plays for exactly. I think it might be Atletico Madrid, but um, he's a really really good player. And it, it, uh, the reason why I'd have him left back is purely because of pace, and you want a really fast left back. Um, I'm not too sure about Marcelo's pace. He looks like quite a pacey guy, but uh, Felipe is definitely a, one of the best left backs in the game to have, purely because of his pace. Then centre back, you have Samuel, who is a good player. He's probably he's extremely cheap. He goes for about 2k or under 2k. Um, he's all right. I I think you are uh, much better having maybe someone like Lucio, who, but he'll set you back 25k. So that's a lot of money for a centre back. Then going along is one of my favorite center backs in the game. His name's Thiago Silva. He's so quick. He's got like an 84 pace, and he is he's one of my favorite center backs definitely in this game. Him and PK are my two favorite uh, center backs, and they're both really really good. Then moving along, you have Dani Alves, who is really really good as well. He's a quality player. Um, there's also Mykon, who's an 86, but I really would not recommend shelling out. An extra 20k or whatever it is for Mykon because uh, Dani Alves is just as quick and uh, does the job. So uh, good job on that's a pretty solid uh, backline. A few things could be twisted and turned for it. And then uh, once again a really good goalkeeper, Julius Caesar. He's a bit slow, but he's like the second best in the game. Um, Don informed, obviously. I think Casillas is first. Um, but yeah, overall this is a really nice team. Um, your manager, he, he'll do fine. He's just a formation card. Make sure you always have a formation card on your manager because they boost it up tremendously. So, um, yeah, guys, this has been the first episode. I hope, hope you have all enjoyed this very much. And I hope you guys maybe have picked up some tips and stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to leave a comment and a rating if you enjoyed this. And I hope to get through some more when, um, when I do this next. It's maybe a weekly series. I'm not sure. But, yeah, guys, that has been me. Calfreezy, and I hope to see you guys in a bit. Peace out.